10 points off the playoffs, 10 points above the drop zone. Stoke City, smack of a mid-table team, that's for sure. Under Nathan Jones, their new boss has called them a work in progress this week, but they need to start getting three points on the board. Unbeaten in five league games, Stoke City. Reading struggling down near the bottom are the visitors in the championship this afternoon. strong challenge and referee says it's fair and Stoke City coming forward trying to lift the home supporters Not a bit of a mess of that though they still have it incredibly and oh he's hit the post what an effort that was it deserved a goal from Tom Ince Reading clinging on by their fingertips at the moment superb effort from Ince with his left boot. More draws have been Stokes' problem recently. Unbeaten in five, but drawn four of those. And in fact, only won one of the last eight championship matches. Not good enough for a team who's just come down from the Premier League. That's better though, a little bit more cut and thrust about Stoke City in this game hoisted into the area and the header towards goal hits the crossbar it was a looping header and the follow-up is blocked Reading surviving at the moment but how long for good delivery into the area and the header towards goal was from Sam Vokes well, it's been all Stoke in the first half so far, Reading haven't shown a great deal as an attacking force. They are right down near the bottom in serious peril of being relegated to League One. Reading were unbeaten in three before a thumping 3 0 loss to Leeds in midweek. It's a really good delivery and so close to getting on the end of that. James McLean with the delivery. Wicked ball in with his left. I suspect that Jose Gomez will be happy if he was to come away with a point today, but he could do with more than that. And the effort's deflected. First we've seen of Reading so far, coming forward at least. Effortless from Harriet. Easy for Jack Butland though, the England goalkeeper. It's all gone a bit flat at the bet 365. Goals have been Stokes' problem this season. They haven't got a very favourable record against Reading either. One only one of the last nine against them in all competitions, losing four. Reading, though, only above the bottom three on goal difference. They're in an almighty scrap alongside the likes of Millwall and Wigan and Rotherham. They have a free kick here, though. Swift went down. In it comes. The effort is speculative. And a couple of yards over the bar in the end from Swift. Well, we know Swift has got good technique. Since Nathan Jones's first championship game in charge on the 12th of January, no side has scored fewer championship goals than Stoke City. Seven goals, which is level with Bolton just about sums up their season lack of goals nothing wrong with them defensively good at play is nice the ball into the area and a good save as well and superb block well they're getting closer Stoke brilliant save from Emiliano Martinez
Reading haven't won consecutive away championship matches since January 2017 under Yap Stam. It really would be a smash and grab on today's evidence. It's been mainly all Stoke. But so far yet to break the Royals down. The visitors have been dogged and resolute. Not much wrong with their approach play though. A half chance here and didn't make the most of that. Easy for Martinez. And Stoke City have had six goalless league matches in 2018-19. Only Blackpool have drawn more nil-nil in the top four tiers of English football this season. It's not exactly been great to watch if you're a Potters fan. And it's more of the same again today. Really struggling Stoke for craft and ingenuity and now John Swift is getting involved. And it's all flaring up at the bet 365. Did he hack Peter Atibo? Certainly a coming together between the two players. Atibo reacted furiously. What's the verdict? It's yellow for Swift and yellow for Atibo. And the referee, Jeremy Simpson. Reading have passed the ball nicely today. That's a trait of theirs under Jose Gomez. They just haven't had any penetration in the final third. They have frustrated Stoke though. There's McLean. Digs out across. It's a good one towards the back post. And again, they don't make the most of it. Verlinden heading wide when he ought to have done better there. More frustration for the home supporters in the Potteries. Stoke 19th in the Premier League last season, relegated following a 10-year stay, where they looked like an established top-flight club. But it all went wrong last season. And not much is going right this campaign either. Nathan Jones, the expected managerial bounce, it hasn't really materialised, it could get worse for them here, it's flashed across the face of goal. And if only Modu Barrow had gambled a little bit more, this was a brilliant delivery from Lewis Baker. Barrow just needed to gamble, former Swansea player. Better from Stoke, but the slip. Did well to regain his footing though. Plays it into midfield. That's a lovely disguised pass. Then you have a lot of men back. And they're twisting and turning. Stoke trying to fashion an opportunity. It just isn't happening for them though. They are approaching the tail end of the game as well. Joe Allen is trying to make things tick in the middle and this is an opportunity and it's again Martinez who makes the save Benica Fobe there it was a good turn from a Fobe decent effort and it's not been a good season for Reading Jose Gomez taking over from the sacked Paul Clement in December but they might be about to pick up a useful point in the Potteries. It might get even better for them here though. Gareth McCleary is in and he's fired wide. That was the Royals' opportunity. They've had precious few in this game. And McCleary had an opening there. 
All of a sudden, Reading's tails are up. It's headed back in towards the area. And the referee, Jeremy Simpson, blows the full-time whistle. More frustration. 